Lactose is the characteristic sugar in milk, and it also found in many dairy products. The enzyme to digest lactose is lactase, also called beta-galactosidase, which breaks it down into one unit of glucose and one unit of galactose, both of which can be subsequently absorbed. Lactase is normally expressed in babies to digest milk, and then it decreases as we grow older. However, in those countries where milk and dairy products are consumed also by adults, such as the United States and Europe, lactase keeps being produced, even as adults, as long as the intestine is constantly exposed to milk. If we stop drinking it for a longer period, then lactase activity will decrease resulting in lactose maldigestion, or lactose intolerance. Of course, undigested lactose cannot be absorbed, and it moves instead to the large intestine, where it creates an osmotic gradient that draws water into the intestine and causes diarrhea, and at the same time gets fermented by the intestinal bacteria generating gas and discomfort, bloating, flatulence, and cramps. Lactose maldigestion can be dealt with by eating smaller amounts of lactose-containing foods at a time and knitting them together with other food. Drinking a glass of milk at breakfast on an empty stomach will clearly have a different effect than adding some milk to your coffee after a full meal. Full lactose intolerance can also be reversed in a few months by most individuals by gradually reintroducing milk, starting with a few drops and very slowly increasing the amount. Another strategy to deal with lactose malabsorption is drinking milk with pre-digested lactose, low-lactose dairy products such as cheese and yogurt in which most of it has been lost or fermented, or eating lactose-containing products with lactase pills that contain the enzyme. Another option, of course, is to simply give up milk and dairy products. As we will learn when we study the minerals, this creates no problem whatsoever if our diet is otherwise balanced, not even for calcium. Lactose intolerance is not to be confused with milk allergy, which is caused by milk proteins and which can only be dealt with by completely avoiding milk and dairy products, as well as any products containing milk proteins.